Today we're going to be emulating a Raspberry Pi 3B device using Quimu, including an Ethernet adapter um, and USB keyboard. The easy way. Let's get started. We go to our Firefox browser, raspberrypi.com website, click on software. Scroll down to all the download options. Click Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit. Download the Raspberry Pi OS Lite image. Couple of seconds for it to download. Done should have our compressed downloaded image we unxz it result in an uncompressed raspberry pi image as soon as unxz completes that is great stuff Next, what we're going to do is run fdisk on the image to see what partitions we have. The, the partition that we're interested in is the, um, is the W35 FAT32 partition. That partition contains the kernel which is uploaded with Hubert. We are going to mount that partition using a loopback device and an um, offset. Let's create a directory. Let's call it PyBoot. We're going to mount minus V minus O for option. Offset equals the offset of the first partition starting at block 8192 is going to be a multiple of the 512 byte sector size. So we can go 512 multiplied by 8192. I'm going to give it the image file name. Our pi boot almost oh, for cut sudo um, our pi boot directory um, just need to quickly sudo great stuff so loop zero is now mounted mounted in the pi boot directory go into the pi boot directory and see what files we have there we are specifically interested in the kernel 8.img image and the DTD for the Raspberry Pi 3B, which is this file over here. We're going to copy both of those files into the parent directory where we create the Pi boot folder. So copy bcm 2710rpi3b.dtb. The DTB file is the device tree blob um, it's almost similar to um, configuration that a bios on, on a normal system would create uh, we need that file to describe um, the options for the raspberry pi system in terms of the hardware configuration we're going to copy the dtb file and the and the kernel image to the parent directory. We're going to go. Um, before we do that, um, we can also enable SSH. Um, how one enables SSH on a Raspberry Pi is you touch the SSH file on the boot partition. Um, probably need to use sudo for that. We go to the parent directory, we unmount the pi boot directory that we created. 
well, if can possibly get come on, correct? Right. Um, the next thing we need to do, um, the um, image itself needs to be aligned. Um, the easiest way to do that um, is to use the quimu img command. Um, resize format is raw. You can give it the image size, and we're going to pick four gigabyte as the size to resize it to. The quimu img command will automatically realign the new size um, which will allow us to use it as an um, SD device. Great stuff, resized. Um, the, the next thing is we're going to run the quimu command for ART64 which is ARM architecture 64-bit quimu system ART64 we're going to give it a machine type of Raspi 3B. We're going to give it a CPU of Cortex A53, which is a CPU found in the Raspi 3B. We're going to provide it with four CPUs using SMP4, a memory size of one gigabyte. Um, we're going to tell it to use kernel 8.img. We're going to provide it with the device tree blob, which is our BCM BCM 2710. Paste that. Um, we're going to provide it with the SD card and we're going to plug the image into the SD. We're going to append a kernel command line um, root equals dev mmc blk 0p2. Um, mmc blk 0p2, the mmc blk um, 0 is the SD card's device name, p2 is part is partition 2 partition 2 is the root file system that we observed in the f disk minus l command um, the next thing we're going to do is is tell the kernel to mount that read right we're going to wait for the root device which is mmc blk 0p2 to become available we're going to give it a root file system type of ext4. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a USB device. That's going to be a keyboard. We can also add a USB device, which is going to be a mouse. We're going to give it a USB Ethernet adapter. Um, we're going to set that ID to net dev equals net one or um, or abnet zero. Um, we're going to define the network device um, net dev user comma id equals net zero comma. Okay, so when we define the 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 actual network device, how we going to do this here is we're going to tell it to use user mode um, networking. For that, we don't need any root permissions or any special privileges on the system to do. Um, we are linking that to the USB, um, the USB Ethernet controller using the Net Zero ID. We are going to tell it to forward host FWD forward TCP port two zero two two and forward it to port 22 on the on the raspberry pi so the quemu user mode network device it um it runs a dhcp server um in 
internally in Quemu, it's going to provide a DHCP address to the Raspberry Pi um, to the Raspberry Pi machine and automatically do network address translation when that when that machine makes a network request. Um, for that reason, there's no way to actually access the IP address of the Raspberry Pi from the host system, which is why we are using our host FWD to forward our host system port 2022 to the Raspberry Pi port 22, where we opened SSH by basically touching the SSH file in the boot partition. Um, when we run that command, we should get a Raspberry Pi system which boots up. As you can see, all the little pies, or all the little all the little raspberries. Um, system boots up. Should be starting SSH as well for us to log into it. You can see it says turn. Um, you can see it said it turned on SSH due to the SSH file being present. Turn on SSH if slash boot SSH is present. Um, to clear all these all these tart up information off the screen, we can just basically press Control L. It does a screen refresh. We're going to select the um, the default keyboard layout of English UK. can obviously select whichever layout you want to use. Um, our new username, let's call this test user. Our password is going to be test, 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 test again. Great stuff. We at the, at the at the login prompt. Let us create another console. Um, we're going to SSH um, test user at localhost port two zero two two. Accept fingerprint, and the password we provided with is test test. Here we go. IP link, we can see the USB network device in our network device list. We can check what the IP address of it is. It's 10.02.15. We can obviously ping something like 8.8.8.8 and we've got network access. You can also access it within the Quemu app window using test user, test test. You can do basically the same thing, ping it right there. There we go. That's the easy way to create a Raspberry Pi virtual machine using Quemu with a USB network device, a USB keyboard, and a USB mouse. Obviously, from here, you can then install a desktop for in environment if you so choose and do whatever you need to do with it. Great stuff. If you found this video interesting, please consider clicking the subscribe and notification bell at the bottom right inside of the screen. Thank you very much. Cheers.